Hey guys, it's Cameron back once again bringing you guys a brand new video today and today we're actually going to be reviewing a projector. I know I've already reviewed several of these on the channel. I've reviewed ones that cost $400 $300, under $100, and even $50. So today we're actually going to be reviewing one that's right in the middle. This is the Cronova XPE 460 projector. And this only retails for $80 on Amazon. So it's a very inexpensive projector, but it does offer decent resolution and a lot of different input options um, and overall decent quality. Let's go ahead today though and analyze this projector, take a look at what comes in the box, um, you know, how it works, and show you guys an example of the projection image. And then I'll tell you what I think after using this projector so you can make your buying decision. But um, if you're interested in checking this projector out, make sure to visit the links in the description down below. I'll have a link to it down there to the Amazon page if you're interested in checking it out further or possibly buying it. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the video and I'll tell you if this projector is worth your money. All right, so let's start off by talking about what you get in the box. The first thing that you're going to get is going to be a quick start user's guide. This is just a, you know an easy guide that shows you how to set up the projector and how all of its functions work. It's a nice colored book, so it's very easy to read. Definitely worth checking out if you don't know how to set up a projector. Next up, you are going to get the remote control. Um, very easy to use. Haven't had any problems with this. It operates perfectly and it's definitely essential because it helps you to not stay you know, glued to the projector. You can sit back on your couch or whatever and use this thing wirelessly. Then you are going to get AV adapter. This just allows you to use your uh, audio visual equipment. So you plug this in and you can t uh, plug in the audio visual cables. Um, it's got the red, yellow, and the red. Then you do have a nice and hefty HDMI cable. This thing's actually pretty long and it is decent quality so I'm glad that they include this because um, it does have an HDMI input, so it's easy to use this thing. It's hooked this up to your computer or an Xbox or something like that. Then finally, you are going to get the DC power adapter, um, just basically a power cord. But other than that, this is all you're going to get in the box, all the accessories they include. So let's go ahead and take a look at the projector uh, closer, and then I'll show you guys all the little functions that it does have. All right, so as you can see, this is the projector right here. It's actually set up on a little stilt right there. They do include this in the packaging. Um, for some reason, it didn't come already attached on there, so you just screw it in, and this just helps you to have it in an angle if you wanted to instead of just having it lying flat. A lot of people set these up on their table and stuff, so this just makes it easier to prop it up and project it on a wall rather than just having it lay flat on the table. So that's also included. Right on the front, you can see that we do have the Cronovo logo right there. Um, and a whole glossy finish around this entire projector. So it does attract fingerprints, but it is a pretty nice looking projector. We got a little lens cap cover right there that you can take on and off, and it just keeps the lens safe. And then also speaking about the lens, we do have the lens adjuster right there. This uh, just adjusts the focal point of the projector, so if you're further away, you want to adjust that, you do it right there. Um, also talking about focusing, I'm going to swap to the back real quick and show you guys the little uh, keystone switch right here. This changes the keystone to face forward and backward and stuff, so no matter the angle that it's on your wall, you're going to be able to adjust it with this uh, keystone switch right there. Now looking at the side first, we can see that we do have several inputs right here. We have the power input right there first off. Then we have the USB and the VGA, so already two options right there for inputs. Then if we swap to the back, we have a SD card input and an HDMI input, and then also an audiovisual input where you plug in the adapter, an IR input, and also a headphone output. So you can use headphones if you are watching this projector. Um, then also on the very bottom right here, we have a D1 volt uh, plug right there. You're probably not going to use that, but they do include the option um, right there. Then if we swap over to the bottom of the projector, you can see that we do have the threads to plug in the little uh, stilt that props it up. And then threads also right there to plug in uh, your tripod. So you can mount this on a tripod. And then we do also have four rubber feet right there. So if you do set this on a glass table, you're not going to have to worry about it scratching it up or anything like that. And then finally on the bottom we do have the speaker. It's actually pretty decently loud for one of these projectors. Uh, for under $100, not a terrible speaker on the projector. And then finally, the last thing that we have to look at is the very top. We do have several buttons right here. Um, this is the menu button right here. This swaps the uh, uh, inputs or whatever from HDMI to VGA to USB, all that stuff. Then we have a menu button right here, a power button, and then finally the menu option button. So up, down, left, right, and the OK button. And then finally, an LED indicator right there that shines um, red when it's turned off or green when it's turned on. But other than that, it's really everything you need to know about the actual body and construction of the projector. Um, it's got decent quality. It's a, it is a plastic projector, but it doesn't feel super cheap like the $50 projector I reviewed. So if you bump up to $80, 
quality just gets a little bit better, especially on this one. Um, I haven't had any complaints about it so far. The quality uh, and the build quality is pretty decent on this thing. Okay, so let's now talk about some of these specs of this projector and give you an idea of exactly what this projector can do. The first thing that let's talk about is the resolution of this projector. It projects at 800 by 480, so obviously it's not HD, but it does look pretty decent for being um, 800 by 480. It supports uh, 1920 by 1080 input, so you can input 1080p, but it only outputs at 800 by 480. Um, image quality wise, it honestly looks pretty decent. I didn't think it would look like that when I first got it out of the packaging, but uh, with the lumens, which are at 1200, the image quality doesn't look bad whatsoever. It's only a little bit blurry on the edges around the screen. Middle, pretty clear. You can easily put it uh, you know, up to its big height, biggest height, and you'll be able to see whatever you are doing. Now, talking about height, it can do up to 130 inch screen, which is very, very big. It would cover my entire wall. So it does project a very big image, but it can also project down to a very small image as well. I think it projects down to a 37 inch screen. So you can have it 37 or up to 130. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to that. Also, with the aspect ratio, you can do it at 4.4 by 3 or 16 by 9. So you do have the option to do either of those when you are projecting your image to get the best quality possible. Um, other than that, there really isn't any other specs that you might need to know about this projector. But let's go ahead and take a look at the actual image quality and give you an idea of the actual output that this projector can do. Okay, so I do have the projector set up right here. And as you can see on the wall, on um, pretty decent quality, you don't have those little pixels that you would have on like a $50 projector. So everything's pretty clear. You can see everything on the screen, no problem. Um, and I'm going to show you real quick how to go through the menus and then how to actually select your content and choose what you want to watch. I do want to, uh, you know, announce that the projector is slightly loud. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure that you can hear the fans on this thing. That's probably my one complaint about this projector is it's semi-loud, especially compared to all the other projectors I've reviewed. Um, but if you can get past the noise, you know, if you had the volume up, it's not so bad. So let's show you how to go through the menus real quick. I'll talk a little bit about the image quality. So right here, you can see that if you click around, you can scroll through the menus and it'll select photo, movie, text, or music. Um, and this is basically just navigating the different files on this USB drive right here. If I wanted to swap the input, all I have to do is hit the menu button, and I can swap in between USB, AV, HDMI, PC, you know, audio, visual, and all that. So let's just click back on USB, because that's what I currently have connected right now. Um, and as you can see, it's very responsive. I haven't had any problems scrolling through the menus or it freezing up or anything like that. So let's go to movies, and I'm going to select a video of mine, and we'll watch it real quick to give you guys an idea. Um, it's very easy to navigate this, haven't had any, any issues whatsoever getting through the menus. Pretty straightforward, pretty much like every other projector. So let's load it up and I'll show you guys. And you can, control, you can scroll through the menus right there using the same buttons um, that are on top of the projector or using the remote. Um, it's got a lot of different options. You can zoom in, zoom out, change the aspect ratio and all that stuff. And so it's very easy to navigate this projector and actually use it. Um, they did a good job with the menus. It's not too hard to uh, use. I know a lot of these projectors, some of them are pretty difficult to use, but this one I haven't had any problems with. So let's keep playing it. And you can also go back out using the arrow keys as well. Let's load back into it real quick. It will even actually ask you to resume the play also if you do skip around in the video or exit out. You can pick up where you left off. Okay, so that just gives you an idea of what it's going to look like if you do use the USB. I'm going to swap and hook up my laptop, and I'll show you what it looks like if you have it hooked up via an HDMI cable. Okay, so as you can see, I have it now hooked up to my laptop, and you can see everything really clear on the screen. Um, I'm not going to say it's like the brightest and most well-detailed screen. Obviously, it doesn't have the highest resolution, but honestly, the image quality is not bad. Like, I could easily use this to watch videos or play a game or something like that. Uh, it's not the most sharp and crystal clear, but it definitely gets the job done, especially if you got this for something like your kids or something like that. If it's not some kind of person that's definitely into, you know, high quality um, cinema style, you know, projection or anything like that. This thing definitely gets the job done. I'm going to load up a little video on YouTube and you can watch that and just see. We have a Casey Neistat video. This will just give you an idea what it looks like. It doesn't look bad at all in my opinion. Like I said, 
not the highest, it's not 1080p resolution um, per se, but it definitely gets the job done. So let's check this out real quick. Yesterday was Blizzard Stella, the storm of like... The last time we've gotten 21 inches of snow in March was back in 1888. 20 inches of snow was to fall on New York City, New York City. Okay, so that kind of just gives you an idea of what the image quality is going to look like on your laptop. Like I said, easily I could use this thing to set up to watch something in bigger, you know, on a bigger screen than my laptop screen. It definitely gets the job done. Not the most high quality image, but a very, you know, substantial image if you're trying to just use it real quick to watch something or for, have your kids use it or something like that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I want to wrap it up by giving you some of my final thoughts on the projector and just my thoughts after using it for some time. Um, so, obviously the projector has pretty decent um, build quality. I haven't had any complaints about the actual physical components of this projector. No problems whatsoever when using it. It's very easy to navigate through all the menus. Uh, the image quality is pretty decent for an $80 projector. I mean, I wasn't expecting 1080p. And it honestly is very, very clear. You're able to see whatever you need to see on the screen with no problems whatsoever. Great to watch videos with. I haven't had any problems with that. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the fan is semi-loud on this projector. So other than the fan, really there isn't any other things bad that I can say about it for an $80 projector. It's very reasonably priced. So whenever you do buy this projector, you've got to go in with the expectation of it's only $80. So for $80, I really don't think it's a bad projector whatsoever. I definitely think it's usable. And I'll probably use it um, to watch videos and stuff on my wall haven't had any problems doing that and it's perfect for doing that. So this would be great for anybody that isn't looking for some kind of high quality cinema experience. It's not going to provide that for $80 but to use it just to casually use or use it for your kids or something like that to watch movies with, oh this is great. It's definitely cheap and it's very affordable so I mean it's cheaper than buying a TV and you can project a 130 inch image. So if you're interested in checking it out in the links down below I'll have a link to where you can purchase a projector on Amazon or check it out further. Look down there if you are interested in learning more about it or possibly buying one. Um, but if you did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tech product videos and unboxing as I try to upload every week. Also leave a like rating on the video if you did enjoy. Let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see next or if there's anything you thought about this video that I can improve on. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in my next one. See ya.